Sunny here, as she goes off, Sunny, let's keep you on camera. I know you want to go get a treat from your dad. Come here. Uh, likes to grab things. And so I'm trying to work with uh, some impulse control on a lot of different things that in the session. Delayed gratification can go a long ways towards helping a dog develop some self-control. So in this exercise, I want to show you a simple leave it exercise um, that we can practice to help her understand just because I have something that's that I'm allowed to have and it's delicious, I still can't have it without permission. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to ask her to come over here and I'll lure her with a treat. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss to the ground. I'm not disagreeing with it. There we go. Now that time I should I made a mistake. Mistake. I shouldn't let her take it off the ground. I should pick it up and give it to her. But I was not going to give it to her while she's trying to take it. I'm waiting for her to give up, and that's when I surrender. So if you notice, I'm leaving my fingers open so that she can see it and smell it. Now she's trying to push her way and challenge for it. There we go. So I'm waiting for her just to take a half a second of not trying to get it. And then she gets the object. That might have been her car your carpet. So normally, as soon as I move my hand away, she would be on that. So we're already starting to teach her a little bit of control. Now, dogs' eyes, the dogs are colorblind and their eyes are not very good for detail or for color. Movement, they're awesome. So when I put, dropped one of them, it was right here. The treat is almost the same size as the outline of this little pattern. I don't think she saw it. So when you do this, make sure you're throwing it in a place where she can see it. And is not ignoring it because she just can't see it. She's ignoring it or not taking it because she understands she's not allowed to have it. So uh, I look for opportunities to incorporate delayed gratification, whether it's sit, whether it's going out the door waiting for your food, waiting for permission to exit the kennel, things along those lines. So the more that we, at first we make her wait a half second, then a second, then two seconds, and four seconds. So gradually she gets to the point where even though something's, something's out there, she's not trying to take it immediately. Now don't push it too far too fast. Sometimes people do that and they'll leave it for five minutes and the dog, they wait for the dog to fail. That's, track, that's practicing the failure. We want to celebrate the success and gradually work up. And the best way to do this for dogs is have very small methodical steps. One second to two seconds to three seconds to five seconds. And if you go from five to 10 seconds and it's too much for her, back up to seven seconds. Always back up a half step and help the dog practice it um, so that they can master that one particular step. Then we make it more challenging. Yep, you got me on that one. So. Leave it. Um, I'll talk about how to incorporate the leave it uh, command word um, off camera. But basically this is an exercise when you want to practice it. When it comes to dog training, you really want to practice about one to two minutes max. So when you're practicing this, this leave it exercise, give yourself like about five to seven treats. Do it for about a minute and then go about your day. Um, try to let the dog sleep between practice sessions. Dogs learn, process what they learn when they sleep and they kind of reorganize the information they collect. So if you help them sleep, they'll perform better. If you have too long of a practice session, the dog will start having more failures because their neurons get tired of firing, get fatigued. So when you do a practice, keep it short. Always end on a good one. And take your time and patience. This is how we can teach our dog to leave it.